My work-based learning experience was going into a recording studio in Wastefield, Vermont called Sugar House Soundworks and basically apprenticing under a uh, audio engineer and learning how a recording studio operates. Um, so I work at LaRose Surveys, uh, surveying uh, land. Um, we also did septic designs, so we'd stake out uh, septics and actually uh, mark them out for the contractor to come in. I I worked right in a preschool um, with a class about 13, with about 13 kids and I could work one-on-one um, -on -one with them every single day and also learn teaching strategies and curriculum. I uh, made three-dimensional CAD models um, of uh, like visualizations of the surfaces around airports that need to be protected uh, so that aircraft don't have any obstacles to, uh, to worry about on landing and takeoff. Last year, I kind of figured I didn't want to be at in a traditional high school setting for the whole time, so I chose to do an internship and Ellen also helped me explore like what I was really interested in, what fits, so like I took therapy, I took the outdoors and I like put it together, so wilderness therapy was like the perfect matchup. Uh, I was prepared for my work-based learning experience through um, in-class work with my work-based learning teacher, so I would learn about um, ethics and stuff like that and outside of work-based learning I took a um, AP psychology class that also prepared me for the child um, development side of my experience. So I did a little bit of my own research beforehand and luckily um, a student who went to Harwood last year actually interned with the same person that I did so I actually reached out to her and got to talk to her a little bit about what the actual duties would be so that was very helpful. I want to be a veterinarian and I knew that this would be a good way to make sure that I was prepared for the career path I was getting into and at the same time that I was doing this class I was also taking an online course in pre-veterinary medicine and it was really helpful to be able to connect the two classes and talk to veterinarians about the subject material that I was learning at the same time. So by having this it really helped me decide that I do want to go into anthropology. Um, besides that, forming connections with sort of people in the industry is really, really important. Through this, I've absolutely done that. I try to connect everything that I do in school to audio engineering, so it relates to class very closely for me, since I'm learning about studio equipment in my STEM classes and how to write uh, good lyrics and whatnot in humanities. I hope in the future to work with a program like True North and maybe even start my own one day. This has really inspired me to do that. It fostered my love of this connection between science and aviation and it led me to pursue um, starting next year uh, an aerospace engineering degree in college.